Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms. This is a really quick video about uh, repurposing an old computer power supply and putting it in service for a two-way radio power supply or any other 12-volt um, device you may need to have a power supply for. Uh, more often than not, things get forgotten and you might have forgotten to bring a power supply. It happens. It's happened to me. Uh, but you can always find a power supply of a computer. Uh, you know, if you need a power supply and you've got an old computer and you don't really need the old computer and you need the power supply, well, guess what? You're going to repurpose the power supply. So what you do is, is you have to disassemble your computer and you take the uh, power supply out of the tower or the uh, desktop. Uh, go to the specifications on the side of it, which I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here for you. And you can see that this power supply here is a 300 watt supply. It's not a very, it's not a very big one. It's an older one too. Uh, your newer ones provide a lot more current. But you can see at the very bottom line here, you can see the 12 volt positive power supply side of it. The high power one is a 14 amp, and the wires are the yellow and black traces. Uh, you can also see it also has a 5 volt out, so you could actually take the 5 volt out and, and uh, use it as a USB charger if you decide to cobble together the cables. Uh, so what you want to do is, is you want to go into your wiring harness and you want to go ahead and pull out the uh, cables that you're going to work with here, which will be the uh, black wires and the yellow and black trace yellow wires, or the black trace yellow wires. And that's what I did here is I simply took the yellow and black trace wires and the black wires, paralleled them, put them in power poles, which is kind of a more elegant solution than a field expedient one. If you had to in the field, uh, you know, you could use wire nuts or you could do a phone splice or whatever you needed to do to make it work. But uh, performance-wise, you can see unloaded, it puts out about 14 volts. When you load it at receive, it drops to about 12, a little over 12 and a half volts, 12.6 volts. Now when you load it at high power, it compensates and it goes up to about 12.7 volts, which is certainly good for what we're going to use it for. There's no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, I wouldn't want to use this as my primary power supply, but as I said before, if I needed a power supply and I didn't have one, uh, I would put one of these in service without a problem. And I hope this helps somebody out. And uh, any questions, put it in the comments. And this is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.